in this video I'm going to show you the solution of the exercise week 5 so question 1 and question 2 is basically where you have to download the file from the blackboard and you have to open the week 5 skeleton so already I have opened the week 5 skeleton here you can see now we'll change the page uh, setup in the question 3 set up the documents page as mentioned below paper size A4 page orientation will select landscape and the margins will select like top 0 0.9 left 1 right 1 bottom 0 0.9 inch so to do that we have to go to the layout tab and we'll click on the page setup dialog box so here at first we'll change the layout which is landscape then we'll make the top 0 0.9 left 1 inch right 1 inch and bottom 0 0.9 and then we'll change the paper which will we'll make a4 so this is the new paper size a4 with the landscape uh, orientation question 4 here we are going to add a footer so we'll add a footer to the document that will display preparatory computer science PYP002 and then we'll insert outside box border for this one so, so let us do that so to insert a footer either we can go to the insert and footer we can click on the blank footer or we can double click at the last line of the page end of the page and here we can write preparatory computer science PYP002 and then we are going to make border from the home in the paragraph group we have border option and we are going to select outside border after that we will insert a page number in question number 5 so insert the page number at the top of page in a format of circle so let us go to the insert tab page number option top of page and then we'll select circle option which is this one so after that we'll close the header footer or you can double click in the normal writing area to close the header footer question six we are going to add an end note so insert an end note after the word SSD in the paragraph that begins with computers can store digital data on storage and the end note displays this message solid state drive is a new generation of computer device so to find the word SSD we can search so you can press ctrl F to search something so we have found it here so we'll click after the word SSD and then we'll go to the reference and here end note option insert end note so now here we'll type it so solid state drive is a new generation of storage device now question 7 here we are going to make some paragraph style so we are make, going to make two style first one is called st and this is based on heading one font will be cambria size 15 bold color will be purple all caps we have to select alignment center space before three space after three point line spacing 1.5 lines and border bottom border so let us go to the home tab and you see the style group so we'll open the style dialog box now to create a style we'll click on the new style and here we'll write down the name st style based on we'll change to heading one we'll select cambria font size we're going to make 15 bold and the color will be purple so we'll change the color from here purple uh, now we'll make center this is alignment center all caps so let us go to the format font and we'll select all caps from here 
then we are going to change some paragraph setting so we'll go to format paragraph here we'll make the space before three so here we cannot choose three from these options so we have to write down say for for a specific si point three and then here line spacing 1.5 we'll select after that we have to make the border bottom border so we'll go to the format and border and we'll select bottom border so there are four border here this is for the bottom so we click ok and ok so you can see the st is added here in the list and our text is also changed at this moment we'll not change the text so we'll make the text back to normal and then we are going to make the new style which is SU so to make the SU style we'll again click on the new style option and write down the name SU uh, style based on normal times new roman 12 it is here normal so now we'll select the font times new roman and the size will make 12 uh, then we have to make justified left in 0.3 line spacing single and spacing before and after zero so that those are settings for the paragraph of so we'll go to the format and paragraph and here we'll select alignment justified left in 0.3 here space before and after both zero and here we'll select single so we click ok and ok so you can see the SU is also created now we are going to apply the style so question number eight to apply now first of all the ST style will apply on three paragraph function of computing device classification of computer and table of content will make ST so we select the first one function of computer device will make ST classification of computer we are going to make this one ST style and table of content also will make ST style now heading one we are going to apply to this paragraphs data input processing personal computer server and supercomputer so the data is here on top you see we'll make it heading one input heading one processing heading one uh, personal computer this one will make heading one servers will make heading one and the supercomputer also will change to heading one now heading two will apply to three paragraph output storage mainframe so here the mainframe will make heading 2 and also output will make heading 2 and storage will make heading 2 now the all other remaining paragraph we are going to make the style SU so this one will make SU this one we can select multiple paragraph and make together the SU also this other paragraphs we are going to make SU also this will make SU ok now question number 9 will put the cursor to the end of the paragraph that begins with mainframe are large computers used by institution and insert an empty line we will use the paragraph style normal so that paragraph is here this paragraph so we'll click after that and press enter key to make a new line and then we'll use the paragraph style normal here now we select this empty line and make it two column paragraphs in the first column insert the picture image 01 adjust the size height 3.1 inch and width 2.4.21 inch so let us select this line like this or also you can do what you can write something in this line and select it so after that you make a two column paragraph here and then at the beginning of the, uh, the sentence in the first column we are going to insert the picture so let us go to insert picture we'll choose the picture image 01 which is given in the blackboard so we'll insert the picture then we'll change the size so right click and size and position we'll remove this lock aspect ratio to choose a specific size so the height will make 3.1 and the width we are going to make 4.21 and then we will click ok so this is done now we will insert a column break we will use paragraph style normal and in the second column 
inside the table and write down the information as shown in the output so you have to make a table like this now in the right column so let us click before the words and we'll insert a break columns break which is in the break section under the layout and here now we can delete this to later and we'll insert the table which is two by four and then here both of them uh, the both of the column will merge it so right click select right click and select the merge cell and here you write term 201 which we can put in the middle in the center of the line and also you can make it bold as well and you can write down your name your id and section all other things you can also change the size of the column as you want So here we write down the name and here you can type you can type your name id and section sorry this will be section okay uh, now after that uh, we'll insert uh, the tab now in this list that is question 11 so we are going to select the list of items starting with supercomputer name and number of cores and insert left tab so the first one is left tab at 1.5 inch position and the right tab with dotted leader at 8 inch position and we apply the tab according to the output like this so this is we are going to make here now so let us select this list of items then we'll go to the home in the paragraph group we'll, have, we'll open the paragraph dialog box and here there is a tab option so we'll open the tab dialog box now at first we'll create 1.5 inch so let us write 1.5 inch here then this will be a left tab and there will be no leader so none and we click set to make it now we'll make another tab which is 8 inch so we write 8 here and this 8 inch tab will be see according to the question it will be the uh, right tab with the dotted leader so we'll select right from here and dots from here and then we click set so you can see now both of the tabs are created now we click ok now we apply the tab so the first tab will apply before this text and the second tab will apply before these numbers so we apply this one so the first step here you press the tab from the keyboard for each of the line then for each of the number we press the tab again for the second tab which is 8 inch the right tab uh, now we are going to insert the list style so we have to create a list style and we have to save our file and then use numbering format as shown in the output we have to link the level 1 to the paragraph style st link the level 2 for the paragraph style heading 1 and link level 3 to the paragraph style heading 2 so let us save our document now you can just click uh, file and save and if you want to uh, change the name you can go file and save as and you can change the file name uh, so now we have to see the numbering style we know the level 1 is ST level 2 is heading 1 and level 3 is heading 2 but in the output if you check you will see the style of the numbering you see for the level 1 this is the numbering this for the level 1 level 2 you can see this is the numbering and level 3 you see this is the numbering so if you see the table of content you can see more clearly so the first one is like Roman 1 2 3 for the level 2 is 1 2 3 which includes level 1 also and for level 3 which is a b c d and this uh, this one also includes level 1 and level 2 both so let us uh, do it so we'll go to the home in the paragraph group there is a multi-level list here this one so we'll click on define new list style then we'll go to the format and numbering now we have to link up our level to uh, the level to our style so we we'll click on more now one will link up with st and we'll delete the old number and from the list we'll select the new number which is this one for the level two we'll link up with heading one and we'll delete the old number now for the heading one we have to include uh, for the level 2 we have to include level 1 so let us include level 1 at first then put the dash or hyphen 
because you can see here the dash is included here and after that we will include the number system which is 1 2 3 for the second level now for the third level at first we will link up with heading 2 we will delete the old number then from here we will include level 1 then we will put the dash then we will include level 2 then dash you can see here level 1 and 2 is included then we have to choose the style for this level which is ABC so now we we'll click OK and OK so you can see the numbering style is similar to the output ok so this is done now question number 13 is we have to make a table of content so you position the cursor to the right of table of content or the, uh, to the right of the, the text table of content so we put our position our cursor here and then we press enter key to make a new line and then we have to use paragraph style normal so we'll apply the style normal here and then we'll insert a table of content with formal format with a dotted leader so we'll go to the references table of content custom table of content now here we'll choose the format which is called formal and then we'll go to the option to change our to link up with our style uh, of the label table of content level so we'll delete the old levels now st is level 1 we have to write 2 for heading 1 and 3 for heading 2 because these are the three level we put the numbering also these are the three level we want to put in the table of content so that's why we select these three level so now click ok and ok so you can see here this is inserted now this final look of the document should be like the output so we can match with the output now our work so you can see this is same page number two this is also same and page number three also same so that's all for this video thank you everyone for watching